In this video, I want to introduce you to arithmetic sequences. Okay, so what we mean by an arithmetic sequence is one where you are adding or subtracting the same amount each time. So, for example, uh, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and so on is an arithmetic sequence because I'm adding on 2 each time. Um, you might have 9, 6, 3, 0, minus 3, and so on. This is also an arithmetic sequence because I'm subtracting 3 each time. So just make sure that you can identify it by one where the difference between each of the terms is the same. And you're probably most used to dealing with sequences like this from GCSE where you would have to find uh, the nth term of one of these sequences. Okay, So you will likely be uh, quite used to working with these kind of things. Now, if we look at what we have here, we have two bits of information, really, that we need in order to generate the sequence. First of all, I need to know where to start. I need to know what my first term is, okay? And let's call the first term A, okay? So let A be the first term. Now it makes sense because A is the first letter in the alphabet, so we're going to let the first term be A. Now what else do I need? Well, I need some kind of instruction about what I'm adding on each time. Okay, because here I know that I'm adding on 2 each time. And here I know that I'm subtracting 3 each time. So once I know the first term and I know that value, then I'm ready to go. Okay, so let's say that this is the difference between each term. And because it is common to all the terms, we're going to call this the common difference. So let this be D. So we've got A as being the first term and D being the common difference. So if our first term is A, then the second term will be A plus D. The third term will be A plus D plus D, which is A plus 2D. And the next term is a plus 2d plus d, so a plus 3d, and so on. OK? Now, if this is my first term, that's my second term, that's my third term, that's my fourth term, I can write down uh, a general term, the nth term, OK, for this sequence. And we're going to call un the nth term. Now, we've, we've seen this notation before because we used it when we were working with inductive definitions. Okay? Now, there it meant the previous term. Okay? Here I'm taking it to mean the nth term. Okay? So it's just a bit of notation issue between the two that you just need to get used to. So the nth term well, we can see that for each of these terms, they all have this A. OK? And what we can see is that the number in front of the D is always one less than my position. OK? So if this is my position N, then because I'm always one less than the position, then I'm N minus 1, lots of D. And this is the formula for the general, or formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Okay? And this is actually the first formula that you're given in the formula booklet. Okay? Um, on page two in the top left. Now, um, the way they write it, the last or nth term is un is equal to a plus n minus 1d. 
Okay, so it's given to you, um, like you are with the majority of the formulas that you need for this section. So in the next video, uh, we're going to see this uh, used. Okay, and see what we can do with it.